Okay. So my name is Colin Heron. Um, I'm the Senior Water Resources Management Specialist for Water Solutions for the SDGs at the Global Water Partnership, which is one of the longest titles you could possibly imagine. It doesn't fit on a business card and it doesn't say a lot about what I do. Um, but what I do is actually, so um, I'm in charge of the Global Water Partnership's efforts to support uh, integrated water resources management within the context of SDG 6. Uh, and I'm also leading on our innovation work uh, by night. Uh, they. <laughs> night lighting um and um yeah and i'm based here in stockholm in sweden great it's a very good question um i am from the uk originally from the from kent uh, the isle of sheppey uh, more specifically uh, which most people have probably never heard of and which is a good thing um, I um, studied actually French and Spanish language and literature at university and completely by chance ended up, because I had a French girlfriend at the time, uh, living in Marseille in the south of France uh, after finishing my degree, um, looking for a job and happened to find a French NGO there uh, with a big name which was the World Water Council. Uh, so at the age of 23 I started working in water with no idea what what I was doing or what uh, you know this would take me to really in my career so um, I started out the lowest possible rung of any ladder um, I had a one month contract as an office assistant um, was at the World Water Council for five years and uh, from there my sort of uh, knowledge of um, water and my experience uh, you know working just in any context uh, grew I, I started thinking that this is something I wanted to do um, I had an opportunity then to act as a liaison between the World Water Council and the Mexican government for the fourth World Water Forum, uh, which I took up, uh, so moved to Mexico, um, and then slowly started taking on a more expert role um, and realized that I need to, needed to study more, uh, know what I was talking about, so I did. Um, uh, and in, in Mexico, so I, I did the sort of liaison role for a couple of years, then did the same thing in Turkey, in Istanbul, for the fifth World Water Forum. Um, now with a wife in tow, a Mexican wife. Um, after that, went back to working for the Mexican government. Uh, again, my expertise growing throughout this time, uh, not having had any start uh, in water, but uh, by this point, 10 years later, I think uh, I was, I considered myself at least a water expert. Uh, I took on a program working on water and climate change uh, globally, regionally, and nationally in Mexico. Um, I was there for another three years, then decided to jump to the, the Nature Conservancy, TNC, where I was leading their water program for Mexico and Northern Central America. Uh, so working there on nature-based solutions, uh, you know, the, the enabling environment, financial schemes and so on. Um, and after, and, and in the meantime, I, I did uh, a master's in IWRM, in Integrated Water Resources Management, uh, which I needed, not for my knowledge, but to have the paperwork that said that I knew what I was talking about, which I did. Um, and from there, I saw a job uh, opening in GWP, in the Global Water Partnership in Stockholm, and I thought, why not? Um, and uh, with my wife and two kids, we made the move from Mexico and the warmth, in every sense, to the cold of Sweden. But without any, all of that has been 23 years working in water, and none of that has obeyed any sort of logic or uh, or plan. But it's worked out extraordinarily well. Well, first there are many, many entry points. Um, I. I imagined when I was uh, much younger that water was just an engineering realm uh, and it was like if you weren't a civil engineer then this wasn't for you. Um, I've realized over time that water is so all-encompassing that it really needs all sorts of expertise um, on legal issues, on social issues, on economic issues, uh, on just about everything you could possibly imagine. So water I would say is not something that we just need to leave to a certain area and, and everyone, every single individual can be a water expert. Um, uh, in fact, in fact, we, we need everyone to be a, a water expert because water is part of everyone's life uh, in, in some ways. Um, w looking for a career in water, I, I think it's uh, it's important to try different disciplines then and uh, you know, studying uh, from, from every possible angle is, is really helpful. Doing jobs that perhaps, uh, you know, internships, uh, learning opportunities and really using those in a very proactive way. Um, and uh, not being scared to sort of try new things. Uh, I think in my own career at least, uh, every, at every single step, 
I've taken a leap of faith that I can do this. Um, I haven't known in any case, and I've not told any of my employers in any case that I didn't, you know, wasn't fully uh, sort of 100% uh, uh, sure. But I've I've managed uh, in every single case to sort of uh, pull through and uh, and actually prove to myself that I could do these things. Um, so pushing your own limits as far as you possibly can um, is one thing I think I would recommend for any young person looking to have a career in water. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Yeah.